Welcome back guys, we're back again, this time with another tutorial and we're going to be going over spawn protection on your servers. So with this, I mean you built yourself a nice spawn and you just don't want people to come in and grief it um, and you don't want to have to set commands and stuff like that. If you have an MCPE server, uh, a Nucket X server or a Java server, you're simply going to be able to go into the settings, uh, change something around and then people won't be able to break it. And just as an example here, I'm not an OP, so I've just changed myself and I want to go break a block over here. So all these signs that somebody spent a long time writing up, I want to come break. However, I'm not going to be able to, no matter what I do, no matter what tool I have, um, if I'm in the vicinity, it's just going to come back straight away. So to do this, we're going to head on over to our Multicraft control panel. And I do want to add a bit of information first, which I found out myself, which is on Java, um, you do need somebody to be OP'd. Uh, or an OP on your server for it to be active. On MCPE, it doesn't matter whether you have got an OP or not, it's gonna be active either way. So for Java, we're just gonna head over into our files and our config files. We're then gonna head over to the server settings and we're gonna head down to spawn protection size. Now this is in blocks, so I've done a 40 block radius all around me, so 40 blocks outside of the world spawn and that's gonna, where it's gonna start at. So world spawn is the zero. Um, and then it goes 40 blocks radius out in a big circle around you. Now to switch it on, simply what you've got to do is just type in a number, anything greater than zero. Zero will mean it's disabled. Any other number, so if you do one, um, you're going to have one protected to um, two radius. I've just done mine 40, so I could uh, obviously fit stuff into the spawn. Now once you've done that, just come down, hit save. And if you come back and just restart your server again, it will tell you that the config saved and it's loaded onto your server. I just like to do it just to make absolutely sure that it has reloaded. And another thing you can do is in your server itself, you can just do forward slash reload and that will also reload everything on. And don't forget, like I said before on Java, you need to have somebody OP'd for it to be active. If you don't, it's going to be disabled straight away. However, through your MCPE, you're going to be able to have that enabled or disabled as long as you've actually put the number up. So uh, with my last example on my game, I DOP'd myself, but yet I couldn't break it. Uh, that's because that protection just stays. And of course, if you actually want to move it itself, just move to another part of the world. Do forward slash and set world spawn. And when you hit enter, providing you're actually the OP and can do it, that's going to be where it's going to be based again. So the center of the protection is going to be exactly where world spawn is. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that's helpful to uh, get your spawn protected and it's told you everything you're going to need to know. And if you're looking for more videos like this, don't forget to check out the Seeker Host Knowledge Base and, of course, my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.